fat phobic. Dear Billy Backbreaker, I'm a 28 year old white male living in Ohio. I have been single for nearly four years now. Congratulations. I consider myself to be an active guy, rock climbing, going to the gym. Is this like your Tinder fucking bullshit you're sending me? I like to rock climb, go to the gym, cycling, etc. Anyways, I used to be overweight at 250 pounds. And over the course of a year, I was able to get down to 172 pounds and maintain that due to the activeness and eating a plant-based diet. Good for fucking you, sir. Making me fuck. You're inspiring me. Good for you, man. What a great thing you did. My situation is this. I have some ladies that have expressed their interest in me. However, the majority of them are overweight and have no self-control when it comes to their diet and exercise. I'm not attracted to bigger women, which puts me in a difficult situation when they very openly flirt and invite me out. Why? You're not attracted to them. That's totally fine. And it's totally fine to not be into overweight people. I don't know why you have to pretend that you're into people that you're not into so the person, you know, eating the fucking Drake's cake can feel good about themselves. What about you? There's still a victim in there. Okay? And considering being out of shape is curable for most people. I'm not saying it's not a disease, but for most people, they do what you do. Plant-based diet, they get active, and it fucking falls off. Plus, considering you are a fatty, this is like an alcoholic, you know, who got sober. You're going to go hang out with an alcoholic. I guarantee you, you'll become a fat fuck hanging out with him. All right? And then where are you going to be? You're going to be laying down as she tries to ride you on top. I hope you got enough to fucking still get it in there. You two belly slapping together. You don't want to be part of that, do you? Uh, the ladies can turn down men, no problem. But when a man turns down a lady, some of the ladies I work with and they're close friends I've known for years. Some of the ladies I work with and are close friends I've known for years. Well, why the fuck would you date them anyways? They know that I've been single for four years. Honestly, I am picky and I've also learned to be happy after multiple bad relationships. Dude, you are fucking crushing life right now. Don't fuck it up by dating some fatty that you work with because society is telling you that you're not progressive if you don't. Anyway, so when I deny a date request or don't flirt back with them, they say that I'm fat phobic. Is this what this has come to? Um, like if some fat fucking man-titted douche came walking up to them, pressing his dick up against them, I mean, that's what the fuck they're doing to you. Sticking their fucking clam in your face. Smelling like a Jim Dandy Sunday at Friendly's, right? What the fuck? Fuck off. I'm not fat phobic. I just weigh 172 pounds and I know that I can get a better fucking cut of meat. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go that mean. I'm just saying because that fat phobic pissed me off. All right. You should respect everybody. Just say, listen, um, I used to be fat like you. And I started rock climbing. Why don't you rock climb? Okay? Or at least maybe just stare at a bunch of rocks instead of eating Rocky Road ice cream every fucking weekend. Maybe uh, I'll throw you a bang every once in a while, as Dice Clay says. I'll throw you a bang. Yeah, dude, can I tell you something right now? This fucking woman's movement thing is completely out of control. It's completely out of control. They are, not all of them, but so many of them are everything that they're fucking preaching that they don't want guys to do to them, okay? They're, you know, you have the absolute 100% right to date whoever the fuck you want to date. You have the right to be as shallow as you fucking want to be. You can date for looks for 10 fucking years if you want to before you want to settle down and get serious, you know? And if you wait too long, you're going to pay the price, but it's your life. Don't let it, this is, this is your fucking life, dude. You're going to date some fucking fatty and, and you don't want to just so what? Th those cunts at work will look at you in a better way? I, I, I wouldn't do that. Just be like, yeah, my dance card is full. All right? This, these are the measurements I like and I'm not ashamed of it. Okay? That's what I find attractive. As do you. Can I tell you something? All of those women at work, if they could be the size that you find attractive, would be. You know what I mean? 
And they ate their way into that position. It's their job to eat their way out the same way you did. So you had to get on a bike. You had to climb a bunch of rocks. You had to do all this shit. Now you're, you're in game shape, right? You're fucking in Kobe Bryant shape, and they're showing up like Shaq, and they want to try to play their way into shape. Remember how Kobe used to always give Shaq shit for doing that? Yeah, fuck that. Anyways, he says, I've never pointed out their weight, but when I have openly expressed interest in other women while talking to the other guys at work, the women start to shame me. All right, dude, you know what? I was on your side until you said shame. What, did, what the fuck happened to, what happened to people? They shame you? You just fucking laugh at them. Saying that I only like bones and twigs. Um, I get along with everybody, so I never strike back. Well, that's your problem. With anything in fear that I might be taken to HR for God knows what in days. Also, having denied some of the women, they've gone as far as to not speak to me as much and tell other female co- coworkers how horrible of a man I am, leaving them to have bad attitudes against me just because I won't date them. Um, dude, what do you look like, Burt Reynolds? What the fuck's going on here? I would, uh, yeah. Listen, this is the deal. Women go to HR. Guys just laugh at it. So just laugh at it, dude. You know what I would do? I would be overly friendly to the ones that hate me. You know? Morning, Sue! You look lovely today! <laughs> Kill them with kindness. And then I would bring the most smoking hot fucking chick you could find to the fucking Christmas party. That's what you gotta do. Anyways, he says it's true. I'm not attracted to bigger women. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But women sit around all day talking about guys having to be this tall, have this facial hair, wear these clothes. But when a man has any sort of criteria, we get shamed. Dude, stop saying that. Okay, being shamed is totally within your own power at the age that you're at. Okay, if you're a fucking teenager or younger, I get it. All right, but at some point, you got to be comfortable with how you look. Okay, you got to get comfortable with yourself and then someone can't shame you unless you actually did something shameful. Yeah, if you kick the puppy across the room, you know what I mean? You don't want to be comfortable enough with yourself that you can handle the criticism and have it not affect you. You should feel shame, all right? Anyways, he goes, I'm writing to hopefully get your take on the matter and hear what you would do in this situation. I will never see desiring a fit, healthy person who cares about their body as a bad thing. No, you shouldn't. And that's something that all people should aspire to be. Fit and in shape healthier than they were yesterday as much as you can you know obviously the aging process you're getting older every second one step closer to the grave right but you know in the meantime yeah uh thanks for all the good laughs you and nia are the friends i wish i had in real life that's so nice have a good day and go fuck yourself yeah dude and by the way that goes for women too goes for women too all right um yeah date what the fuck you want to date and if you want to be shallow, you know, and dish date hot people, then just do that. See what that's like. It's up to you. I don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, the, you know what you have at work, dude? You have a bunch of busy bodies, you know? And there's these people out there that want to be the person to say, I introduced this person to that person. Um. Oh, dude, I swear to God, man. I swear to God. You find the hottest fucking chick you can fucking find. You can fucking find. Take her to the goddamn Christmas party. And by the way, let her know what's up. Let her know what's up. I would, I would, I would tell some fucking... I would tell some hot chick that whole fucking story. And you know hot chicks love being hot. Nothing that they would make them feel hotter than to go down there and have a bunch of women look at her and just hate her because how fucking hot she is. There you go. Find that chick. Maybe she's into sports too. Next thing you know, you guys are running the country. Not the country, the company. That's perfect. Oh, it's a fantasy, but maybe you can make it happen, sir. Um, good luck to you. Uh, good luck to you. And, uh, and that's it. And by the way, there's plenty of guys out there that like big women. You know what I mean? It's plenty. It's, it's up to you to be happy with your own fucking body. All right? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just fucking 
Have a salad. Have one fucking salad a day. Start fucking working out. Read up as much as you can on nutrition. Try the best you can to eat the best food you can, which is really difficult. You know, that's all you can do. Then other than that, leave people alone and let them date who the fuck they want to date. Um, All right, that is the podcast uh, for this week. Go fuck yourselves.